When September rolls around, it means one thing for many of the top filmmakers in the world, time to hit the road. Venice, Telluride and Toronto come in rapid succession, to the point of overlapping. But for documentary filmmakers eager to showcase their work, there's another important stop to make in September, the Camden International Film Festival in Midcoast, Maine. We are strategically aligned to be right after Toronto and a week after Telluride, and we're documentary only, emphasizes B. In terms of being able to highlight some of the larger, awards, contenders, so to speak, we can do it in a way that puts them on the main stage. This is just the moment for us to recognize the incredible artistry behind the documentary films that we're going to be talking about at the end of the year. The online iteration of the 18th Camden International Film Festival wraps today, capping a 10-day schedule. The in-person portion concluded last Sunday night, a four-day rush that featured some of the biggest names in documentary, and films with serious prospects of Oscar recognition. Academy Award winner Laura Putra brought all the beauty and the bloodshed, her film that just won the Golden Lion at Venice, two-time Oscar nominee Steve James shared his latest, A Compassionate Spy, Margaret Brown came with her upcoming Netflix release Descendant, winner of a special jury award at Director Ilyana Sosa and producer Emma D. Miller screened their awards contender What We Leave Behind days before its theatrical release. Multiple Emmy nominee Chris Smith arrived from Telluride with Senior, his doc about actor director Robert Downey Sr., made with the participation of Robert Downey Jr. at the Journey's End Space in Rockland, Maine, one of the festival's primary venues, Smith spoke about the rewards of experiencing a F. There was something that just never felt complete about it. So, I really appreciate being here and seeing people and talking to people. Last year's festival was designed as a hybrid online in-person event, but the pandemic impacted on-site attendance. It was a smaller program, in 2021. Most of the filmmakers were based in the U.S. because international travel was still a challenge, Fowley recalls. This year, the size of the program is kind of back to where it was in 2019, pre-COVID. And this ended up being certainly the most international fest we've had.